G987 FM, the way we groove, this is The Enforcers, and we have on the air a fan favorite in Toronto, one of the leaders of the new school when it comes to soca music, the snack boss, Nessa Preppy. Welcome back to the soca groove. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? First of all, I love the new look. Thank you. Yes, yes. Um, so let's, uh, let's talk about um, Splash. Congratulations on over 12 million views on YouTube. Uh, how did that collab and the concept for the video come together? Well, the collab came about while on tour last year. Um, Patrice and myself, you know, we have a good chemistry, a nice, um, I would say, working relationship as artists side by side. And, you know, the more we bounce up on tour, the better the relationship had, be had become. So yeah. we were always in talks about doing a song together last year while on tour. And, you know, it so happened that right before the carnival season, Trinidad Carnival, that is the season gone. Yeah. Um, a producer, actually, um, Travis Will actually, no, let me get it right. A writer said, you know, yeah. a writer called Shumba, he said he had a song for me and Patrice because yeah. we was looking for something, you know, sometimes I do a lot of writing myself, yeah. but sometimes, you know, you just need, you're not getting any, you don't want to bring your vibe to, you want a different vibe. I hear you. So, a writer reached out, he said, no, I have this song for Patrice and Vanessa. Patrice had already, um, she heard it before me and she was like, she love it and whatnot. And they, they sent it to us and we like the vibes too. So I was, I was passing by a studio just to hear it and for her to record her parts because I record at home in my studio. Yes. And when I passed by and she was recording her parts. You know, everybody was so hyped. They was like, Nessa, jump in the booth and do your part <laughs> one time. Yes. And I was like, no, no, I, I just record home. I like to, you know, meditate and do my thing. And everybody's like, nah, nah, you need to, we need to hear something today from, from <laughs> both of us. Yeah. So I jump in the booth and she was like, girl, come now, just jump in the booth. And you know, it was a little intimidating because Patrice is a big vocalist and I'm more of a, a lyrics person, a vibes person. Yeah. And she had like vocals like that. So, you know, it was a little intimidating at first. Yeah. But, you know, she was like, no, girl, the song ain't good, get in there, you know, thing. And she was real motivating. And I so happy I just jump in the booth. I recorded my parts there, then and there that day. And by the next week, we had a, a, a final product and, you know, we, it, it jumped out on the Caribbean Rosary Rhythm, which was done by Dan Evans and Travis Will. Yes. Uh, I think Skinny Fabulous is also on that rhythm, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yeah. And then, and, and Just D, right, yeah, and Just D as well. And, you know, the song was getting a nice vibe during Carnival, but we say, you know, we need to turn it up a notch. So, Kern Rose, which you know, you know, Kern. Yes. It's like, I have an idea for visuals for this, and you know, I just want real girls, you know, I want fun, our vibes, you know, our little acting in it. And we so happened that probably like Carnival Thursday or, or Wednesday, somewhere, I know it was the week right before we were shooting video, you know, people was, we, we schedules was ramp packed, but we still made time during that day to get our video done. Um, we went back a second day to get the other scenes and yeah, right, right as the carnival done, right before the lockdown, we drop it and everybody like love it. Yes. And in a record time, that's record time. And normally <laughs> I talk, it would take a few years to get 12 million, but we're so thankful. And for yes. the TikTok, Jason Derulo, <laughs> you know, Nicole from the Pussycat Dolls. Wow. It, it has been really nice. Yeah, amazing. That's an amazing story. Um, so let's let's talk about your venture now into the Zesser movement. Um, you've been teaming up with uh, Prince Swanee and London Future. Talk about that, this project, Dollars. Well, um, London Future, as you may know, has always been um, my, my producer. Yes. Well, basically, I could say my producer because he, he did most of, he did a lot of my work. Um, yeah. So it wasn't a new thing with London. However, um, working with artists like Boy Boy and Prince Swanee. Now, mind you, I am a hundred, I would never say a hundred, but I am 95% soca and the yes. other five is like R and B, dance all and yeah. stuff. But soca is my love, that is my first priority. Yes. yes. But we're in a time right now where you can't really create that kind of music. Yeah. I mean you could, yeah. but 
you know, you do have the atmosphere to partner with it, which is a fet, which is a road, which yeah. is mass. So, you know, we, we, we still try, I'll still be doing some soca definitely for carnival, nice. even though it's not going to have a carnival, but yes. I'll still be doing soca. Um, the zesting thing now, I really don't like to say I'm a zesting artist or I'm a Trinidad artist. Right. I just like to say I'm an artist, yes. but I, I have collaborated with um, the Trinidad artists such as Boy Boy, Prince Swanee. The experience has been amazing. These guys work ethic. Um, I think their work ethic is way higher than the average artist that I that I know like in Soka. They they just do like they will do like six songs in two days and things wow. like that. Really talented. Yeah. So I would just like to say I'm an artist and I collaborate with Trinidad artists. You know, right. I don't want to clap myself because that's their, Trinidad is their movement really on truly. Yes. Yes. I'm just a soca artist who does other genres and it so happened that, you know, yeah. we have a good chemistry as well and we work well together. Yes. So let's let's talk about some of uh, your other new projects. I see you hinting on Instagram that some some new things are coming out. So what what's in the pipeline? I'm releasing a song within a few days. It's called Do What Love. Yeah. It's produced by Hold on one second because yeah. I know this this producer and I have this is our we now working together for the first time. Got you. Got you. Um, I know one of the writers is a, a talented young lady named Crystal. Jenica Ford, or oh, Crystal, Crystal wrote it, that's the, okay. that's the female writer, and Abe, Abraham Williams, that's the next writer, and it's produced by Abe, which is Abraham Williams, but he's, his producer name is Abe, Abe. Nice. and the vibe is, is like, it's kind of like what me and London Future would do, Right. but it, it have a kind of source state now, it have a new kind of source that, that it's going now with what is going now so you know yes we just kind of collaborated on this project it was for the moment it, yeah. just like the look it was for the moment yes so you know we now kind of stepping out into this new song and into this new song yes amazing right now so amazing. you can look out for that one don't want love don't want love look out for that toronto well, we, we appreciate your time nessa you know toronto loves you if you could just remind uh, all of our listeners how they can keep up to date with you on social media Big up everybody in Toronto. You don't know I love Toronto. Um, big up to the enforcers every time from day one. Yes, yes. Always on this journey with me. Um, and to everybody who looking to find me, um, you can find me on Instagram at Nessa Preppy. You can find me on Facebook, Nessa Preppy Music. Um, Twitter, Little Miss Arima or Nessa Preppy, anyone. And yeah, look out for new stuff coming. New song with me and Prince Swanee. He just dropped a few weeks ago. Dollars. Video yes. sick. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much, Nessa. Bless up yourself every time you don't know. Respect. Love and host. Show them all the tingle. Oh, oh. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, boy. Love. All right.